So the other day I was in my bedroom minding my own business and I started to think, will I ever get to read The Winds of Winter? It started to dawn on me that I have many bookish questions that if I ask someone they just can't answer me. And then I start to think that as a reader my brain is thinking a lot of these questions and it's very confusing and I don't know if anyone else thinks these but they kind of bugger me a little bit and there's quite a lot. So I'm going to try and make this video as short as I can but basically as a reader these are some questions that I have that people can't seem to answer me and I'm realising that being a book lover and a reader is sometimes quite tiresome. Why is there not a Draco Malfoy spin-off? Like, in my opinion, I did not want to read about Harry Potter. I wanted to read about Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy and the man that said always and broke the fandom. That could be a bestseller. Like, I don't want fan fiction of this. I want J.K. Rowling to make this. Why do I get turned off a book if I don't like the cover? How do I justify spending £8 or £10 on a book but not spending that on a DVD? Why don't all books become available in softback and hardback on this day of release? If I have all the books already in a series in paperback and then hardback comes out first, I don't want to have to wait 8 months to buy the softback to go with all the ones that I already have and by that time someone's already spoiled it. Why is there no freaking universal law that all paperbacks have to come in the same height? For example, what is this? Was Bella Swan's breakdown in New Moon really necessary? Like, really, what lessons did we learn from that? Why do I make it so hard for myself to read a book when I don't want to crack the spine? Like, I'm literally reading like this. Now, what does that say at the end? I have read this book and do not crack the spine. Like, why do I do that to myself? I have over 100 unread books. Why do I still want to buy more? How do film studios manage to buy the rights to the script, produce the movie, and then put the movie out before I even manage to pick the book off my shelf and read it. Where can I buy a new book smelling perfume? How did Fifty Shades of Grey, which in my opinion was not that great of a book, manage to produce a movie that had such an awesome soundtrack? In an age of globalisation, why is it so hard for me to get US books and US covers? Why do I have to put up with some terrible UK covers and in the US they have amazing covers and it's so hard for me to get them? Why do most popular books have to be turned into movies or TV shows? Why can't they just be appreciated as being awesome books? Oh wow, my grandma just came into my room to talk to me about anti-aging. So, where were we? How can some people get rid of their entire book collection to replace them with e-books and e-reader? Like Kindle things. If you have a magnificent collection of books, why would you get rid of them for that? Why does Harry Potter need to be re-released like every couple of years or yeah with a new cover? Do you really want me to own this book in like 10 editions? Because it's a great marketing strategy but at the end of the day it's the same page. It's the same pages inside. It's the same story inside. So why the hell do you need to keep re-releasing it to tempt me to buy it again and own it like 10 times? Sometimes they make it worse than the edition before. So, I just don't see the point. And I know this point is brought up a lot, but why does every, or most, YA novels need to have a love triangle in it? And why can't we just appreciate a beautiful couple as they are from start to finish, a beautiful couple? Or in this case, why do we even need couples in books? Why can't we just have like a kick-ass protagonist who is just single and free and awesome? And I'm mainly thinking of Allegiant and Mockingjay here, but why is the third book in a series, well, in a trilogy, always crap? Why are independent bookstores so hard to come by? Can the internet please not destroy the book publishing industry and the independent bookstores? And again, to reiterate my first point, because that's the biggest thing that's bugging me of all, will I ever get to read The Winds of Winter? And if I do, when is that happening? Because I think about this every day. And why do all my recent YouTube videos end in me eating? So there's just some things that are bugging me as a reader. Um, there's probably going to be more. I'm probably going to make a two part of this. Because, you know, life is full of interesting questions. So, thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you probably tomorrow. Seeing as this is like a week of vlogging. An unintentional week of vlogging. But that's what I do on my weeks off from work. 
So, I will see you probably tomorrow. Bye. Hmm.